Hey everybody, it's King Koopas here, and welcome back to some more Sonic Adventure 2. In the last part, we got kart racing and box attack out of the way, and in long last, it's time to start the main meat of this Let's Play, getting our A ranks in all the missions. Oh boy. So basically how these videos are going to work is, it's gonna, we're going to have one level per video, and in each video, I'm going to aim to get an A rank in every single level. However, due to the nature of some of these levels, I could be here for what would be like 20 minutes, for me, two hours. So without further ado, let's get this train wreck on a roll. Alrighty, so popping up on your screen about now, you should see a bunch of uh, levels and numbers and whatnot. These are the ranks you're going to need to get to get an A rank in everything. So this is how these, bleh, how these missions work. We have mission one is essentially just get to the end. Mission two is collect 100 rings. Mission three is find the lost chow. Mission four is complete the level with a set amount of time. And mission five is hard mode. Now let me just tell you, don't do mission three until you have Mystic Melody. I think for except with the exception of like two of them, I want to say, you're gonna need Mystic Melody to find the lost chow. But since I got all Mystic Melodies, that's not an issue. So anyway, let's go ahead and jump right in to our second mission for City Escape. And by the way, you get an emblem for completing each of these, so keep that in mind. This is where you're gonna be getting most of your emblems. All right, so 100 rings of City Escape. This is a relatively easy one. Just be sure not to miss too many rings on the board down, and you should. By the time you get off the board, you should have like a nice majority of your rings. And if you play it right, you should have 100 rings by the time you get to, this, to the second show or checkpoint. So just do your best to not miss rings like I did there, like a scrub. And a uh, tip that I like to do here is gain a little speed and don't take the ramp. Jump right here. You'll always get that 20 ring box. Very useful right there. Go down here. And try and hit the ramp and try and get the shield. Shields are invaluable for the 100 ring challenges. Don't need to worry about this. Alright, so now that we got the fire somersault, however, there's a little bit of a secret we can do. If we go over here, and then hit this, we can light speed dash for a bunch of rings. However, I'm going to want to go back here, because there's a whole bunch of rings over here I want to get. Yeah, they start out easy, but let me tell you, getting 100 rings in some of the later stages is going to be a nightmare. So go over here. Again, you just want to go fast, ignore enemies, just focus on getting rings. And now it's 100 rings. Even under a minute, that should be a pretty good A rank. Indeed. That was, that was cool. cool! Oh, oh wow, I feel like I just smoked a cigarette! Oh, <laughs> what was that? I was just like, trying to say something a bit more, whatever. Alright, so like I said, they start out easy, but they're gonna get a hell of a lot harder. Alright, so now we gotta find the Lost Chow. I think for the Lost Chow missions, I'm essentially just gonna cut ahead to where the Lost Chow actually is. Unless it's something that needs to be explained, because for um, the Lost Chow missions, it's just the normal stage, but you just need to find where the uh, Mystic Melody statue is. So I'll just meet you guys where the Mystic Melody statue is in this level. It's pretty easy to find. Actually, before I cut something I want to address here. These Finding Lost Child missions, this is a great way to grind with rings. So essentially, if you don't have the Lost Child by the time you get to the end of the level, they're going to get the option to go back. And when you go back, you keep the amount of rings and points that you got throughout the level. So, why am I collecting stuff? I need to get to the Lost Chow. And essentially, City Escape, you can essentially abuse this by, by intentionally ignoring the Lost Chow. And then you can essentially just keep replaying City Escape without having to go through load times or anything. And then when you get to 999 rings, you simply uh, find the Lost Chow and you get all 999 rings. That is, in my opinion, the best way to legit grind for rings without using, like, abusing game glitches. I mean, you can kind of argue that because it's just a little glitchy. But yeah. Okay, I'm done talking. I'll meet you there. Gotta go fast. Alrighty, and here we are at the uh, Lost Chow over here. When you get to the part where you're going down the building, just go over here. And the Mystic Melody statue is going to be right here. And now, essentially, we just gotta go through the obstacle course of death and destruction. What's actually funny is those uh, bouncy beetles here. I've actually been able to somehow break the game and actually kill them. No, 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 no. <laughs> they tried to the up game. I don't actually think this is an A rank. I don't know what the A ranks are off the top of my head, so you guys get the uh, pleasure of knowing, and I just have to guess. I don't think this is quite A rank material. I think it's like two and a half minutes. I don't know, maybe. But not quite the two and a half minute mark. Let's see what I get. Yes. 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 Yeah. Show me your food. Yep, A rank. I think it's 2 minutes 30 seconds. Because I guess I just off the top of my head. You'll get exact numbers before we start. 
as you can see, our emblem count is just skyrocketing now. Something I haven't explained, and I probably should. Um, the, the more emblems you have, like, the rarer stuff you'll get in your in the Chow Garden at the, at the Black Market. So, yeah, if you want to get, like, a certain color of Chow or egg, egg or whatnot, you may just need to play through the, um, things a lot. Now, here we go. we got to reach the goal within three minutes, within exactly three minutes. Now, the time stages are interesting in the sense that you've got to go fast and you've got to miss out on a lot of things. So, the, um, that the points required to complete these stages are usually a lot lower than they are normally because you can't really stop to get everything. And by the way, don't hit those cars. I may have actually just screwed myself. Let me tell you, some of these later ones can get so demanding. Like, for example, um, Radical Highway, I've only ever been able to complete with, like, like, quite literally milliseconds left on the clock, so. So for this level, pretty full, pretty basic. If you have the Fire Somersault, like you should, you can just use this to speed run a little. So still try and get as many points as you can along the way, but do it in a timely fashion. I like, don't do what I did, and completely skip out on 300 points like a goober. I don't know why I'm saying like a goober. Oh, by the way, something I didn't point out, time attack doesn't have checkpoints. So if there's a level that you're prone to dying on, and you die at like the end of the level, you're redoing the entire level. So before you even attempt these stages, play through them a few times and memorize everything, like where all the points are, where like, you know, important stuff is. And however, but something's coming up I really want to address. Remember the magic hands power up we had? Now everyone says it's useless. This is one of my favorite uses of it. Go up here. Okay, never mind. We're not going to do that. And I think I screwed out myself out of my good rank. Okay, we'll just do it here. As you can see, we can kill enemies without wasting too much time. It's actually much quicker to kill enemies with than actually home attacking on them. I want to see if I can do this. And that's one combo that you can do. You'll get an extra 600 points if you can do that. It's exceptionally hard to do. But let me tell you, you feel like a badass if you're able to do that. Go over this way. Try and, try and hit that invincibility power up you see up there, because like I said, invincibility equals double damage. Alright, good job, I hit it. Good job. Very good job. I don't know why I'm complimenting myself. I don't even know. It's just City Escape. By the way, bounce bracelet breaks this section because you can just bounce on back onto the rails and save time. Oh, Nelly. Waste no time. You, it says you get actually an extreme there if you can hit the rail properly, but I can't because I'm an idiot. I'm best NA. Let's see if I can hit this ramp. Yes! Whoa, come on, let's... Whoa. And again, take a hard take a hard left. Never mind, not taking a hard left. By the way, coming up, watch the right side of the, of the screen. You should see big. Yep, yeah, right there, there's big. I can never hit that ramp, though. It's like impossible to hit. Once you get to this part, just spin dash and go a little faster. You shouldn't need to though, I think I got 20 seconds left, but you can see how unlenient these these times can get. It starts out easy, but one of the worst worst defenders has gotta be Metal Harbor. Oh boy, Metal Harbor. Beat the level in two minutes. Good luck with that. I'm just saying, you know, right now. If you can do that without any issues, you are a god at this game. Stage select. Alright, finally, at long last, we got the hard mode run. Now, the hard mode run is probably one, well, either be my favorite or my least favorite. Because the hard mode runs, like I said, the level is in hard mode. And in hard mode, things are changed. Like, for example, if you're, seeing up, if you're seeing here, the rings have been changed up, and the ramp's over here now. And and the world just disappears, so you have to worry about not falling through the world. No, the game's not that cool. But as you can see, like, the ramp's in different locations and whatnot, so you've got to... And you see there's no ring boxes there, so the level's overall just a, a lot harder. However, to make it up for it, there are, there are usually, like, you know, more point opportunities. For example, what, what we can do here, I believe, is hit this enemy, and then jump off, and then do that. Okay, that didn't work. Oh. Yeah, City Escape's hard, but it's not bad. I can just tell one tip, whatever you do, don't get the Electro Shield. Or if you get it, immediately waste it. By the way, the hard modes are, are, are usually set out so that you you um need like a certain power up, but considering you need Mystic Melody, that's probably why they added the Mystic Melody thing is because when you got to hard modes, you can't complete them without certain power ups, so that's probably why. Ah, missed that jump. Like I said, I don't know these hard mode levels like at all, so a lot of this is really just trial and error for me. Okay, yeah, as you see there's no there's no um electro shield, though it's actually back there. And I believe for this we're gonna have to gonna have to do this. And now, for, for these Electro guys, I recommend using Magic Hand. 
That's one of the best uses, in my opinion, of the magic hands using this to uh, kill the electric guys. And uh, something you're also going to want to keep in mind, and on hard mode, the um, golden beetle is sometimes in another location. Like, for example, it's in a different location on this level. So if you know where, see, like I said, this is another where you may have to play through a few times. For example, the golden beetle is usually up here, but it's not this time. Also, enemies I found on hard mode are more accurate and whatnot. I believe the golden beetle is actually over here. Or not? Huh? Where is it? I know it's, I know it's somewhere here. Yeah! Whoa. I wanna go up here, though. Is this Trail of Rings? Yes, it is. Okay, so I don't know where the golden beetle is. As you can see, the enemy placement is usually a lot more dickish. And hard mode is kind of set up so that if you don't know what you're doing, like you haven't played through it a few times, they're gonna go through a living nightmare. And I can see it again. Again, you know, just minor changes. I wonder, can I just... There we go. Okay, this is the most dickish part of the level right here. What you gotta do is home attack in, and then light speed dash. Okay, there's the golden beetle. It's actually in a pretty easy location. That part is just dickish. Just because, um, because since the, because, because essentially the balance bracelet is also bound to light speed dash, and you can essentially screw yourself over. Oh, come on, will I get the massive bonus? Yes, I got an extreme. Alright, now on hard mode, the truck is going to be moving a hell of a lot faster. So don't even bother braking. Go at max speed. Like, as you can see, it goes a hell of a lot faster. There is no mercy on the truck section here. So go as fast as you can. Forget about rings. Forget about tricks. Just go as fast as you can. Because he will catch up to you if you, if you don't if you stop. Like, you know when um, normally, if you slow down, he'll like wait for you to catch up. He just goes at full speed here. As you can see, no mercy. No mercy. Rings on final destination. I don't know where I was going. Yes. Yeah. Three minutes, 37, 37 seconds. Relatively painless hard mode, if I do say so for myself. But again, is that A rank? Yes, it is. Cool. But again, just like I said, now that we I've explained what all the missions do, hopefully the next part should have a little more interesting commentary. Because, yeah, like I said, once you get all all the rambling out of the way. Not a lot, whole lot to talk about. Yeah, there we go. That's an A rank in every level on City Escape. In the next part, we're going to move on to Wild Canyon. I got to trace it back. Huh? Yeah, Rue, she's sucking. <laughs> I, am, I cannot rap for the life of me. But with that, I thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next part.